Well, a step forward to a single shot. Johnson & Johnson is asking the FDA to authorize its single-dose coronavirus shot for emergency use. Now, if approved, the company aims to supply 100 million doses in the first half of 2021. KGL 9's Joy Benedict is live in Boyle Heights, where a new vaccination clinic will be opening later this morning. Good morning, Joy. Good morning, Amy. That's right. I mean, it really is a race to vaccinate really all over the world and here in Southern California. We are live this morning in Boyle Heights. We're in front of Clinica Romero and it's holding its first COVID-19 vaccination clinic today. It is by invitation only for folks 75 and older here in this neighborhood where the clinic says they have a staggering 40% of the clinic's patients that have tested positive for COVID compared to LA County's 16.5%. But of course, the race to get everyone vaccinated continues all over the area. Here in LA County, the newest concern is folks trying to jump the line on the county appointment website. Public health officials say that's because those who've been notified it's time to get their second dose have been sharing their access to the appointment site with those who aren't eligible yet. The county says those line jumpers will be turned away. Right now, obviously, the vaccine is in short supply all over and here. Next week, they'll be limiting most of it to those who are ready for their second dose. And right now, as more vaccine comes into LA County, our priority is to provide second doses to people who are, who are ready for them. Next week, the majority of appointments at vaccination sites across the county, uh, across the county will be for second doses. At our uh, five megapods, there will be very limited first dose appointments this coming Monday, but these are again only for people who have an appointment. There is a little bit of good news on the vaccine front, though. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is one of several lined up to hit the market soon. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be available in just a few weeks if U.S. regulators give it their stamp of approval. This vaccine is the only one dose, though, making it more efficient, although some say it may not be as effective as the other two on the market. The pharma giant is reporting the vaccine to be 66% effective overall against moderate and severe cases of COVID-19, but 85% protective against most severe COVID symptoms. So what they'll try and figure out once, when, and if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is approved, Amy, is exactly who should get it. That may be a vaccine, obviously, with one dose that can be used more in outlying areas and also to those maybe in, in my population who aren't really um, at a higher risk for catching COVID and aren't dealing with COVID patients directly. So that's going to be a good vaccine for the masses. And right now they're saying, hey, any vaccine we can get is a good vaccine. So we should expect to hear more about that coming up in the next week or so. And Amy, one more point, important reminder from the county, obviously Super Bowl Sunday is tomorrow and they are of course asking everyone not to gather in large groups indoors for obvious reasons. They are concerned about yet another spike of COVID-19 cases. I'll send it back to you. And we certainly